If you have trouble seeing in the dark, you may want to avoid the town of Islip once the sun goes down. Yesterday, the town of Islip joined Southampton and Southhold as the third town on Long Island this year to adopt new zoning regulations that govern outdoor lighting. While streetlights are exempt, the new rule requires homeowners to use outdoor lights no brighter than 100 watts. The basic uh, aspect of this that you have to recognize as a homeowner uh, or a business owner is if you have lights, just we're asking that you shine them down that you don't shine them onto your neighbor's property or up into the sky. Councilwoman Trish bergen Whitebroat proposed the legislation and tells me the goal is to reduce light pollution and to increase the ability to see the sky at night. Advocates of the dark sky concept say light pollution negatively affects human health and the environment. I don't really agree with that. Diana Perez of Bayshore worries the elimination of bright lights will make her neighborhood less safe. You never know who's in your property. Right. So if you see light, at least those the motion sensors and they're bright, people get scared. Yeah. If it's bright, they'll yeah. run off. Derek Jackson of Bayshore also cites safety concerns. Jackson tells me he feels more comfortable walking around his apartment complex knowing there are bright lights. Definitely in the parking lot when you walk into your car, well lit area, you know, you know your car is protected, nobody will mess with it. Meantime, businesses that close by 9 p.m. are immediately required to shut off all exterior lights within 30 minutes of closing. The new code applies immediately for all new construction and renovation projects. Councilwoman bergen Whitebroat says existing businesses that may be in violation of the new code are welcome to meet with code enforcement to make sure no business would have to shut down. It's really an initiative that says, folks, as we move forward and as your light bulbs burn out and you go to replace them, please buy one that's 100 watts or lower and make sure that your light shines down. Reporting from Islip, Ron Lee, Fios One News.